I pick things up, I'm a collector. And things, well, things, they tend to accumulate. But that won't stop me, I want more. Let me show you where to find it all. Hey guys, welcome to Hoarders Wasteland Edition. No, but really, in every Bethesda game I've played, I've collected and kept every unique or interesting thing I could find. In 76, however, stash management skills are king. No, I don't want to scrap my gnome collection. Pfft, one and a half pounds each? Good gram. Well, we should put all that ceramic to good use then. Okay, possums, we're going to be earning our collector badge. Let's go over our list. Simple enough, one of each of the seven types of Nuka-Cola, 10 Tales from the West Virginia Hills Hollow Tapes, one of each teddy, there are 12, and Unstoppables 1 through 5. First up, you already know by now that it's exam time. I found this one super easy. Maybe I just got the easy questions. You can find exam terminals at fairy scout camps like here at Camp Adams. And if you are having trouble with the questions, the answers to the exams are in the link down below in the description. Okay, time to go collecting. We need one of each type of Nuka-Cola. At the White Springs, upstairs is a handy named Bubbles that will sell you one of each. It'll cost you over 300 caps to buy them all, however. So if you want to go the free route, over at Fraternity Row at Adesai House, we have a Nuka-Cola Superfans room, and this shelf spawns the rarer ones you can't find elsewhere. I've even seen a Quantum show up in here. You can also craft Nuka Dark if you have the recipe, and Cherry, Quantum, and Classics spawn in Nuka machines all over. I'd hit up Red Rocket Megastop if you are still missing any of those three. Next, we have these Tales from the West Virginia Hills holotape series that tell spooky stories about some of the cryptids you encounter. You can receive them one of two ways. Each Tales from the West Virginia Hills magazines give you the two corresponding holotapes, or the holotapes can be found in the world, which is how I found all of mine. We have two holotapes in Flatwoods, the Who Goes There duo. Part one is in the pub, right on the counter. Our second holotape is on the main road in Flatwoods, and it is in this mailbox right here. The Beast of Grafton found in, you guessed it, Grafton. We want to go into the City Hall building into this employees only room. The first part is right on the shelf here. Part two is in the southeast end of town in this campaign tent right on this table. The Mothman Cometh duo are found in Point Pleasant. First part is right when you enter the Mothman Museum. Part two is found in the east end of town. You gotta get up onto this truck to get onto the fire escape here to make our way up into this room on the corner. It's right on this TV stand. Sideshow Snallygaster is found in Watoga. Part one is on the rooftops of Watoga Estates, right in this concession stand here. Part two, you have to go inside Watoga Civic Center in section B5, where the legendary of this building usually hangs out at. It's a quick grab in this concessions booth. And lastly, Curse of the Wendigo. I found these tapes a bit horrifying to listen to. These are located at Uncanny Caverns. First part is at the front desk in this front building. Our second part is inside the cavern, down the nook and cranny past marker four. And I got some atoms to boot too. After that, we're moving on to teddy bears. There are 12 types. No, I'm not really selling these for 25,000 caps. This is just my display vendor. Gotta make do until those display shelves come out. On my search, I found some great teddy bear arrangements. And so here are a few of my favorites. West of Site Charlie, there's a cluster of eight bears. I call this the barbecue. After all the mischievous things I find bears and gnomes doing, I can't blame someone for setting them on fire. Three regular teddies, one quantum, one grizzly, one bubblegum, one comrade chubs, and a teddy fear are found here. If you haven't found this one yet, be sure to check it out. Over at the Palace of the Winding Path, you'll find an Easter egg to the Wee Bear Bears show. A stuffed grizzly, imported Chinese panda, and a stuffed polar bear are all stacked nicely. Ice Bear's Best Bear. Around Overlook Cabin and towards the dried lake bed, you'll find an escaped canoe. What were these bears up to? We have a red bear, a stuffed grizzly, a regular teddy, and a little ginger snuggles. 
If you're looking for that sweet bee type bumble bear, one can always be found right here at Hornwright Summer Villa. As for pristine teddies, I found quite a few in the Toxic Valley region, but two static spots are here at Charleston Station, right on the bench inside, and Graninger Farm. Inside of the destroyed house, you'll find our teddy on the mattress here. At Tyler County Fairground, you'll find quite a lot of bears around, starting with this spaceship play structure, where we have a quantum bear, I learned of this area from Gamer Mom over 50. We run along here to on top of the fortune teller for our comrade chubs. To the left, we want to head up the slide. Up here for a bumble bear. Back down and to this audience area, we have an imported Chinese panda. Moving on to the Ferris wheel. On the seat is a bubblegum bear. And this right over here has two bears. One little ginger snuggles and a comrade chubs. You want to find the bandit roundup stand for our next bears. Ah, there it is. It has two quantum bears, a regular teddy and an imported Chinese panda. West and through this gate into the festivities room, we have a rad bear on the table right over here. Back out towards the roller's ride. There is a stuffed grizzly on this chair. And then back to the center of the fairgrounds. You're gonna find a flatbed truck. This is the last one I found in the area. It's a stuffed polar bear. That's all we need apart from a teddy fear and a pristine teddy bear. And we found it all in one area, not bad. And that leaves us with the Unstoppables comics. There are 99 possible magazines that can show up at any given magazine spawn. We just want these five, one of each issue. Buying or trading the magazine doesn't count. It has to be from a world spawn. And this is where the grind comes in. My suggestion to save your sanity is to collect these over time and use these runs to help you find them. I server hopped more times than I can count in order to find them all farming these routes. There are other places to farm, like around Watoga, that I didn't do because I kept running into people picking up the magazines I was looking for. So these are my alternatives. The Panna Pictographist perk card only takes one point. It's available at level 12, and I highly recommend using this. Let's begin with the Pleasant Magazine run. Starting at South Cutthroat Camp, there are potentially four spawns. I read that there might be one by the sign here, but I haven't seen it there yet. Still worth a look. To the left at this lift, on the center block is a spawn point. Looks like it fell down. And I head over to the cases. I believe there's a spawn over here. And I hear the last one in the area. It's right on this plank table. On to the top of the world. You want to Skyrim scale up these rocks here to get to the next area. Now, I believe that there's a magazine spawn right over by these cases, but... I haven't seen it in the last 10 runs, so I'm not sure. Still worth a peek though. In order to get to the next magazines we're looking for, you can go inside and out to the patio, but I'd like to just hop up on this speaker onto the roof to get to the next one. Right on this side table here. This isn't too high up that it should hurt you badly, but be careful regardless on these barrels here. And then we're gonna be going back down. And I like to hop up on the hedges so that I could get onto this little roof up the ladder, jumping around, being careful. And on this table here. Not the one we're looking for, that's all right. We're gonna keep going. There's still quite a few more magazines around. Heading north, you'll see that broken down building. I go up this ladder here to get to the next spot and it's on this table here. Not today, but I've seen it here plenty of times. We'll keep going up this ladder and go down the market-esque street here. When we hit the end, we're gonna go ahead and take a left and up the stairs and into this back room here on this bed 
You can sometimes find a magazine spawn. All right, moving forward to these cabins. The first cabin you see is where our next magazine's gonna be. After we take care of these guys, you can leave us alone for just a second. Magazine is right underneath the corpse here. Heading back out and towards the Eastern cabin. The magazine you're looking for is going to be right on the coffee table. And back outside, we're gonna go up the hill and around up this road heading west, southwest. You can be cautious and sneaky, but there's usually a bunch of enemies up here. The next magazine is going to be at this headboard. And then all the way south southwest, at the very end on this podium is our last magazine in the area. Next up is the Summersville Lake Run, starting at the docks. There are 11 to 12 spawns to farm around here. Oh, looks like luck is on our side today. I've already server hopped 25 times and I only need one more magazine. But with Graham here, I've got a good feeling. First magazine spot is in this little red building here on this bookshelf and yes, that's the one. That's the last one we needed. Got that badge. Feels good, man. I should probably thank Graham. Where is he? But he was just right here. Oh. He's up on the cliffs. Thanks, Graham. Hugs and kisses. All right, moving on. Through the door to the right, this little dock area here, there should be one on the shelf. Yes, there is. And then hop down the hole through the gate, take a left in this broken boat. There's our next one. Cool. And now we can head across the dry lake bed to Burdette Manor. Now usually I leave these magazines here so I can re-roll the odds on my server hops. But being that I just got the badge, it looks like I can grab these magazines for collecting challenges. I need me some more atoms. We're going up the landslide. I usually go around to the side of the building so I can see if I can hear the magazines. Yep, I hear one. Let's go ahead inside. There are two spots in this building and a bunch of really low level ghouls, but right inside the kitchen here. Take care of these guys real quick. There's a spawn for magazines right underneath these crates. That's not the one we're looking for or we're hearing. You want to go up the spiral stairs. Through the employees only door. Take care of these ghouls and the boss ghoul. And a magazine is right on this end table. Moving on to Torrance House. I've only had two show up there. Some say one can show up inside the house as well, so I'm gonna run through just to check. Going around the front. I'm just gonna go straight inside. Oh, I read somewhere that a magazine can show up behind one of the sets of three paintings, but I have yet to see it. So instead, we're just going to go outside and head up this scaffolding. There is a magazine on the rooftop. Turning around and going down the roof, hopping down to the lower landing, there's usually a magazine right underneath this crate. And this cute little Easter egg. Hopping down to ground level, I'm just going to run straight through the building and up past this concrete wall where there will be two spawns at Hornwright Summer Villa. First one is going to be inside the house. Take care of those guys real quick. Pop down this hole and you'll find a magazine spawn right underneath these barrels. We want to head back up the stairs and outside for our next spot around the edge of the building towards this workman's house above the garage.
and there will be a magazine right on the side of this fridge. All right, done here. So we've got one more location to go to and that's right here at Overlook Cabin. You can go downstairs, but I just like to hop up on the landing. Down this hallway, there can be a magazine right behind this radiator. And then heading downstairs, all the way downstairs into the basement. In this last room here where the boss chest is would be our last location. Whew, that was a long one. So what are you using your possum badges for? I already used up five for my uniform. I really want to get that stash box too and upgrade my backpack. Let me know what is or what was your first choice. And if you happen to be so kind as to drop a like, may Greg grace you with all of his luck too. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 76 guides and content. Until next time, bye!